Okay, another thing you want to do with your screencast is actually put it together and formalize it um, in a movie program. So what I've used on this computer is Windows Live Movie Maker. Um, on our new HP um, tablet, we have something called My Movie. So you can um, My Movie Maker, and it looks very similar to this. So here's this program, um, and this is what I've used to make all of the videos um, here. So the first thing I want to do here is kind of like your dashboard, and you will see the movie that you're making in this black screen here. Um, and this is your editing uh, clip to clip to clip. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my video. So I'm just going to click on that, and I need to go and find um, my video. And let's see, I'm going to click on um, my Active Inspire video, and I'm going to click it, open it. And here I can do some editing. Um, I can view it here by pushing the play button. If you have the Active Inspire Studio, you can... Okay, so don't want to be too redundant here, hearing my voice so many times. Um, here in this window, you can kind of see it broken down, um, usually by seconds. Uh, you'll be able to see uh, your movie piece by piece and edit parts of them. So here is the slider bar, so I'm going to start it back here. I think it's always great to have some sort of title. So I'm going to create a title. And I'm just going to, it's very, very easy and um, easy to use, very intuitive. So I'm just going to title this um, Screencasting with Active Inspire. OK, and you can. Um, edit this, you can uh, change the size of the text just up here, just like um, any program you would use um, with Microsoft Office. I could change the color if I want. Um, let's go ahead and make this one yellow. Um, over here I have some different uh, ways that um, it will introduce or show um, how it comes in. Okay, so you have some little animations going on here. Um, this okay and down here you have a little bit more a few more options um, let's just look at all of them and that breaks it down a little bit better and here you have a little bit different option than you know, a little fancier if you like something fancy okay um, so you have all of those uh, different options down here so I'm just going to go with this one um, the other thing is you don't have to settle for black background. You can pick um, something different for your background. So since I have yellow, I'm just going to go with sort of this purpley color. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, I'm fine with that. All right, the other thing that I like to do is when you have, that's my caption, and there'll be a little break in there. Um, what I like to do is add a little bit of a transition so it doesn't seem so abrupt when it starts from one thing to the next. So I'm going to go to, I think it's under edit. Um, here we have this fade in and fade out. Right now, um, it's not giving me that option because right now this bar is too close to uh, the first one. All right, so now it's giving me the option. It's transitioning to this next little set. Um, I have a second video that I'm going to add on here, so again, I would probably add a transition there. So I'm going to just pick a fast transition. It's up to you. Uh, play, play them back and see what you like best. Um, I'm also going to add a little animation in there so um, you can kind of see the transition, what they look like. All right, so far. Okay, so I'm just going to pick something really simple. I'm going to go with uh, that one. Okay, um, I'm going to bring it back and just see what that looks like, what that sounds like. If you have the Active Inspire Studio, you... 
Okay, and then I would go forward, um, just looking to see what else I want to add in. Um, if the other thing that I might want to do is, let's see, let's just say it's playing Can along. Use this program to create your own videos and tutorials um, to help your students and instruct them on something you might want to uh, show them how to use. Okay, so here is another great uh, feature, and sometimes you want to put a caption. In. So here at this point, um, I might want to tell them about hidden tools. Okay, this is a little bit strange. Right now it's typing a white font color, so you can't see what I just typed. So let me change the color. And I like red just because it's easy to see, especially on something that's uh, white or a color like that. All right, so hidden tools. Locate it in the tool palette. Not sure if I'm spelling palette right there. And then you can edit them if you, you know, you can move them around on your screen. You can change the colors, you can change the size, make it bold or italic, um, whatever works best for you. Okay, sometimes you want to, you have additional clips that you want to add into one movie and combine. Um, several screencasts or uh, things together. So this for this movie I'm going to go ahead and add another video and here is my movie maker um, my Active Inspire uh, video. I'm going to continue on. Alright so here you can see it's uh, separated and what I would do is I would go back in here and um, give put an animation in there so there's a nice transition. Um, I would also go back here again and I probably want to um, go to edit and do a fade in, fade out, um, just so that, um, again, it makes a nicer, smoother transition. Okay, so sometimes when I'm playing a movie, sometimes what happens is I'm, you might wind up with some dead space. So let's just say, for example, the beginning of my movie, it's got a little slow start, so I want to listen to it and cut part of it out. So let's just... Alright, so here's a spot where there's no talking, there's nothing going on in the movie, it's a fairly blank screen. So what I want to do is cut part of that out. Uh, one of the things you can do is you can use this uh, editing part tool, it's called Split. So what that does now is separates this, these two movies. Now I've got three sort of short clips. Alright, so now that I've got it sort of separated, now what I can do is I'm just going to click on this and I can easily just click and right click with my mouse and get this dialog box and remove it. So now I've got that beginning dead space kind of gone. So that's one way that you can um, trim and cut portions um, out of your video. Alright, so uh, the other tool that you can use is this uh, set start point and set end point. Um, this can be a little bit trickier um, when you've got a whole movie going so normally I would just recommend you kind of use your split tool separate it and um, cut parts out uh, you can also do that sort of here like in the middle of a movie you can split it um, and then play it so if there's another dead here, space here uh, for example we have Adobe Photo alright so again Shop. it's kind of not a whole and lot going one of on the things I could use is great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let it play, figure out where it is I want to cut it. Again, use the split tool and right click on it and remove that section. All right, and then it would pick up and move on. So again, if you want to trim or split and get rid of sections that are kind of dead space, uh, that's how you would do that.